Jordan, thank you so much. We want to take you live now to hear from Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon, who had been calling for the right. body cam footage to be released. Yeah, let's listen to what she has to say here. Finally able to see the body cam footage from last week's Austin East High School shooting, as I've been pushing for, along with so many others. Let me be clear, while this is a critical step and essential to accountability and transparency, transparency in our city, this is still a devastatingly sad day. I appreciate the DA and her staff working so hard to complete the investigation of this tragic incident. Transparency matters. Accountability matters. The body camera footage, as well as other evidence presented by the DA, offer our community a more complete picture of what unfolded on April 12th. This information, while imperative for transparency, is not easy to watch. On the one hand, an independent investigation has ended and found that KPD officers acted lawfully. On the other, a young person, a 17-year-old boy, Anthony Thompson Jr., is dead. My heart is heavy knowing how quickly an effort to prevent harm can end in tragedy. Watching the video, my heart continues to break for Anthony. His life matters, and he has gone too soon. My heart breaks for his family and those who loved him. No parent should have to bury their child, and my prayers are with them as they continue to mourn. My heart breaks for the young man who witnessed his, a friend's death and experienced the trauma no young person should have to experience. It breaks for the officers whose lives are also forever changed. Let us remember our shared humanity as we watch these events unfold on video and digest the findings of the investigation. Even as we find ourselves in places of disagreement, let us remember that we stand united in our quest for safety in our communities and for accountability and for the truth. Knoxville, we grieve together in the loss of a young person. We hurt together at the pain in our community and the lives affected by violence. We care together about the future of our city, of our young people, and of families all across Knoxville. I hope that as our community takes the time to process, that we do so valuing peace as a path toward healing. Let us all wrap our arms around the young people in Knoxville, lift up their voices, and work together to keep them safe. Let us seek and acknowledge ways to prevent the loss of life wherever lives are at risk. Let us work to build trust, to forge relationships, and work together to create a more safe and vibrant city. Let us work collectively and peacefully to heal our community from this loss and from this tragedy. I'm not going to be able to address any uh, questions that the DA spoke about the details of the investigation and her, uh, her report, but I will take a few questions of a more general nature. From my view of the video, uh, it was a very challenging situation for our officers, and uh, they had to act in a very short time period, 11 seconds, uh, 11 seconds where they saw a gun. They thought one of their fellow officers uh, was shot. They thought the safety of themselves and the others were at risk. Uh, so. Yeah, I think that those conclusions were fair. The DA spoke at the beginning of the press conference about the pressure she felt to get this investigation done in truly record time, nine, nine days from the shooting to the investigation concluded. She had some kind of anger at the pressure she said she felt. <coughs> do you think you contributed to that, and, and do you regret that, or do you think that was the right thing? Well, we run for office, and we hold positions that face some pressure, and that's just part of the job. I've reached out to the family to express my deep sympathies for their loss, uh, and I have not spoken to them directly. They didn't wish to meet with me or speak with me, and, and that's totally fair. I respect their wishes. You spoke about um, the community, not just about the East Coast and not just about Knox County in general, the word that General Allen used was the community is reeling, the city is reeling from the five deaths that Austin East has experienced so far this year. How do you feel seeing, knowing the kind of totality of the situation, seeing it all unfold and watching the body camera today? 
Well, it's devastating. It's devastating. And I agree that gun violence is a huge problem in our community. There are too many guns, uh, easily accessible by people of all ages. Uh, it's, it's a problem. And too many people are using guns to try to solve their problems. And we have to change. We have to change it here locally. We have to change it across the state and across the nation. And the state of Tennessee is going in the wrong direction. Yeah, but I don't want to get. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into. Well, we, as you know, just fully deployed body worn cameras um, a couple of weeks ago, and unfortunately, you know. Uh, had this incident such a short time afterwards. So we will be evaluating how they were used and how we used in the aftermath and uh, try to learn from that and come up with uh, the most effective ways to ensure transparency and accountability. Was the community asking for justice for Anthony and then the officers not being charged with anything? How do you hope the community takes that in? Well, that's why I think it's good that the footage is out there so people can review it and look at, look at it uh, for themselves and also the other evidence that uh, uh, the DA shared. They can consider that as well. Mayor Kick, and when we're even informed that the footage will be released today, how much notice did you get the law you can start to get ready to process this? Uh, uh, it was just less than an hour before. Walk us through as you're watching that. I mean, I think mean, we've all watched it too. Walk us through what was going through your mind. You mentioned. Can we talk about the details? You mentioned yeah. Your daughter's the same age. Just what was going through your mind? Well, um, I don't want to go into the details of, of what happened on the video, but uh, emotionally, you know, just like so many families across the city, I send my daughter off to school every day. Uh, you always hope and expect that they'll come back and they'll be safe and, uh, you know. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking and no parent should have to lose their child. Uh, and, you know, and, and it, my heart goes out to the family of Anthony Thompson Jr. and also the other uh, families of, of children who've, who've lost their lives uh, in other circumstances, uh, all in such a short time, all from the same school. Uh, it's heartbreaking, it's not right. Uh, we are working at the city of Knoxville to interrupt that violence. Uh, the city council supported that. The community wants it. Uh, we're working on it. It's not a problem that started recently. Uh, it's a challenge that is very uh, systemic and needs to be treated uh, in a health sense, in uh, emotional sense, in you know legal sense, and um, you know. And not just the city alone. We need our faith community to work on this. We need our private sector community to work with it and our other government partners as well. So uh, we need to work on this collectively uh, because uh, it's a huge, challenging problem and, and we can do better. We, I know we can do better. Uh, we shouldn't be losing our young people to gun violence. You, Attorney General Allen, said that the family, after watching it for four hours today, asked her one, one request and it was not to release the tapes, but we called on it, we called on it. Would you have understood if Attorney General Allen decided not to release the tapes today to request the family? Yes. Do you think that she should have? That's her decision. Did she ask you whether or not she should have No. No, she didn't. Well, my message is that uh, we love and support you. We are so sorry for your pain. Uh, I'm very grateful for many entities that have offered to uh, even do more uh, counseling for the students and families of Austin East uh, beyond just what the school system has already provided uh, to take it easy on themselves uh, and, and, you know, Try to get through this hard time. Uh, try to get through this hard time. All right, thank you very much.